we we good to start maybe should i finish eating this picnic first <laughs> <laughs> oh dear start, start it like this chomp chomp Maybe maybe we should just start it with the twang of the pole hitting Kevin. <laughs> that would that would work. <laughs> Dong. Uh, That's quite a quite a the, musical sound. On the third stroke, it will be Kevin's teeth. I should use that as a, I should use that as an SMS ringtone. <sighs> That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, it'd be loud you, loud enough that your neighbours could hear it too. What you need to do is get your niece and give her a thump afterwards. So it goes <laughs> dong, whack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. Okay. Well, welcome to the Votox 52 first quarter wrap. <laughs> yeah, that's very enthusiastic. We are so far behind on this, aren't we? Um, you were overseas for the, um, the what was it, the 10 year anniversary of Think Tank? Are you ta- oh, you're, you're talking to me. I'm talking to you, yeah. This is going great already. Sorry, I was playing um, uh, M- Minecraft. That's what I was doing. Playing Mi- <laughs> I don't even know what Minecraft is. <laughs> yes, I was. I was overseas for the 10-year anniversary of Think Tank. And we were thinking about doing it from over there, but basically, um, we couldn't. Yeah, you were a very busy man. You're always a busy man, hard to Not really. Hold of. Well, I just pretend. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I say busy, you spend a lot of time drinking coffee. Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. And I've got to warn you, on the 25-episode podcast that I used to do with my friends called Podgoat, did you like that segue into a... a, um, I love it. Love the cross-promotion. Promotion, yeah. Um, I used to be the one that always used to take this stupid thing off on a tangent. We'd end up talking about, like, porpoises and stuff like that. So, <laughs> you know, if I get outside the lines, just give me a little kick. Yeah, well, that, this is why I'm sharing the screen, just so I can focus the attention on one image at a time <laughs> and not like an image in like, you know, 20 images time. Ah, so, got it. Like, yeah. yeah, so yeah. Well, yeah, I was overseas and I'm sorry about that. So I'm sorry that, that you blame me. Basically. Oh, I, I'm not going to blame you entirely because, you know, <laughs> you're overseas and then Kevin was AWOL and then I was AWOL and then Kevin was AWOL again and... I think this is attempt number four at recording, but we finally made it. We finally made it. Have we? Finally no, made yeah, it. Yeah, we, well. we haven't made it yet. <laughs> well, well, most of us have made it, Kevin, except for Kevin's front teeth. Yeah, Kevin might accidentally break <laughs> off. Hang on, hang on, hang on. My front teeth is here. Harl is in the car at the moment, and Harl is <laughs> with me. Yeah, so um, Kevin <laughs> is drinking to get through the pain, so we're not quite sure how this podcast is going to go. The killing ground. Ground. Well, let's just jump straight into it because we've got a lot of images to get through. I'm not jumping into anything with you. <sighs> oh, thank you. Oh, Junior's bringing condoms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's the line. There goes Kevin across the line. <laughs> so there goes my hope of not having to edit this podcast oh, already. Are you, you going to edit that out? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Kevin's saying, there goes my beep. <laughs> <laughs> just pee every time Kevin speaks. Mm. Beep. So, um, yes, yeah, well. So, week <laughs> one. Whenever I speak, you put a ding on. <laughs> a doing. Ding. Doing. <laughs> so, um, week one. Week one. Week one. Week one, we, uh, we started off the 52 oh, challenge picture? with uh, self-portraits because last year we did 52 of them and we decided to, um, you know, torture everyone who completed last year's 52 by making them do a, yet another self-portrait. We have uh, severely... Cold, I would say. It's not really culling. We, we, we had to be quite select with what images we're going to discuss tonight. Because, Any reason why? Um, just because, mainly because, it because we they had... Were, they were rubbish. No, they weren't rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, but I thought I'd throw that out there and see yeah. how you'd handle it as a host. Yeah. yeah, no, not rubbish at all. It's just the fact that we, we, uh, we started our 52 with quite a lot of people, and, um, which was great. Me, and, me um, included, and I'm sorry, life got in the way. Yeah, you, you you started with yes, intentions. I don't think you I actually ever submitted a photo, did you? I don't know. Did I, Kevin? Um, yeah, I don't think, think I, so. I, I yeah. submit, didn't I submit the first one? Yeah, you did, and then you did another guy around the um the project. I oh, know yeah. what a tool. No, actually, <laughs> I think it was the third one. It might have been the third one. Anyway, doesn't matter. Inconsequential. So uh, yes, yeah, self portraits. So, self portraits. So uh, we'll start off here with uh, with David. Um, who has a nice small image because um, oh, oh, he hasn't oh. shared his images. 
But, um, no, David, come on. Wake up. <laughs> Sorry. Sleeping away at work there. David's obviously some kind of IT boffin. I mean, look how many screens he's... He's probably a database analyst. Is he? No. No? Okay, doesn't drink enough coffee to be a database analyst. What's that thing in the background? It looks like a bong. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I keep I'm guessing off. that's some weird kind of coffee machine. Ah, right. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that thing over there. Yeah, blow it up a little bit. What is that? Is that one? Yeah, what is that? It looks like the top Jesus. of it. It actually looks like a, it looks like a rocket grinder. It, just, it actually looks like an old school gumball machine that you twist the handle and the gumballs fall yeah, out of it. It does, doesn't it? Or a clear version of C-3PO that's gone on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you never know. You never know. Bubba. Uh, there's, a front, there's a front size bubba. Yeah, that's pretty good. I um I like that. I like the IT. Um, and if I say IT help desk, I'm probably going to offend him because he's probably not help desk. I mean, you look in the background and there's machinery and stuff. But I like there's the no IT help, help desk um, selfie. I've done a few in my time, actually. <laughs> the ones where you've just been sleeping on the job. No, no. Well, the, I'll tell you a quick. You know how I. You know how I go off. I digress. Um, I'll tell you a quick story about one. I was doing one where. Um, you know red tape that you put around an accident site or something? I had a roll of that that I'd <clears throat> liberated. Yep. And, and I made the fo- It was 7 o'clock in the morning. There was no one else in the office. And I made it so that it was spewing out of a HP laser printer. <laughs> and I was lying on the ground, tied up amongst this stuff, pretending to come out of the laser copier. And the camera's going, click, click, click. And right then, the general manager walked in. <laughs> And he was, he was just standing there looking at me. And I must have been like pretending to roll around on the floor for about 10 seconds before I saw him. And he's just like, I don't even want to know. <laughs> yeah, it was good times. So, so how long did you stay in that job? For another eight years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, so that's... The efforts appreciate it. That's always a good thing. I, I think yeah. so. Above and beyond the call. So how are we judging these? Like, are we judging these or are we just kind of... Oh, we're just having a chat about what's working, what's not working. Yeah. Up to you, really. So, well, that's, um, it's interesting. David's placed his main subject, him, his sleeping self, in the f- centre of the frame, which from time to time I quite like. And he's got leading lines, which is another... I'm pretty sure that was another theme, right? It, it was. It definitely was. Well, he's got, a, he's got directors into his feet and then from his feet into his face. Yep. But he's definitely got distracting elements, like mm. window, Windows computers... <laughs> Nobody likes a Windows computer. Christmas trees. They've been cut off. Especially, I, I, especially I like the Christmas fun. tree. Yeah. Well, uh, the, was... the remote in the foreground is perhaps a little bit distracting for me. Yeah, it doesn't have the right buttons on it. <laughs> it's not, it's not too many buttons because it's not an Apple remote, obviously. But when you think about it, a selfie is... like a, Maybe we get too caught up with selfies. You know, this. And I suppose there's a there's a fine line, you know, some people will say, well, a selfie's just a quick sort of capture, or a self-portrait is something that you've taken a bit more time and a bit more care to sort of produce. Mm-hmm. Um, and some people say there's a big difference between the two, and I, I say that I, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe there is. <laughs> Do you think there is? Uh, I honestly don't think so. I think it's the same as any photograph. You can spend a lot of time producing a, a landscape or you can snap the Eiffel Tower as you walk away from it. I mean, it depends on you know your time, your effort, your motivation as to how much you put into a photograph. Yeah, I suppose. And you miss again, 10 million bucks for it. <laughs> you might, or 90,000. Like 90, very boring picture of the river with nothing much in it. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, that, that's got nice horizontal lines, so that photograph. Come on. Yes. They're not leading lines, though. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> the horizon's nice and straight, though. Uh, True. So it I, may have been realigned afterwards. Could somebody turn that guy's microphone off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've dude. just spotted something in the background. Over there, yes. I, I can't control your mouse, but if you go down, uh, go left, go up, down, left, yeah, left, 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 left. Give us control. Stop, right there. Is that a coffee roaster? <laughs> It may, be, it may be a barley roaster. Yeah, you're not far off because at the time, uh, David was actually working for a, uh, a whiskey distillery. Ah, whiskey distillery? that's why he's asleep. Yeah. He's not drinking coffee. That's a <laughs> it's, keg it's, with a handle. It's, it's a big keg with a handle full of whiskey. Yeah, and this is a perspective shot. So immediately I love it. Well done, David. Next. Beautiful. 
Next image, if I can control my mouse. Next, we have uh, Marcella's uh, self-portrait. Oh, I feel her pain. So, Marcella is telling a story here. She's um, obviously, she's, uh, she's not well. She's poorly. She's cold. She's got a nice mug and a scarf. Yeah, again, I think it's a nice little, like, a, a nice little narrative to the self-portrait. It is. She's kind of nice. just, missed the, just missed the focus, which is neither here nor there, and she's placed herself central to the image, which is kind of cool, because she's got interesting elements on left and right, which you sort of go back and forth between. I don't we like... Lose... Oh, there we go. go can, can we stop, to just, just briefly, and I know that it doesn't matter in the big scheme of things, but big, yes. messy, big messy copyright symbols and big... I mean, this one isn't particularly big, Marcella. Please don't take offence. But it does, because it's bright and it stands out, it um, drags my eye away from you, the sickie, in the middle of the page, the, the central subject. Does, that, does it grab anyone else's eye or is it just me? Um, it's I, there. It's definitely there. You can sort of, it keeps catching a corner of my eye. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think this one um, isn't quite as bad as some other um, watermarks as I have seen. Yeah. Some are, are, are very large and in yeah. your face. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. I've started using one that's like opacity of like six. And so wow. you have to really, really try hard. To, but because I know where it is, I can see it straight away. So if somebody uses my image, I can see it. But most people yeah. can't see it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. I just, I find I prefer that in an image. Um, there was a guy, I can't remember what the article was on. It was like F-stoppers or something. Um, like two Don't years. Don't mention the competition. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One strike. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. Um, and it was the article was all about a guy that uh, was using really clever ways to disguise his watermark within his images. I'll try and yep. find it and, and link you. It was really cool. Anyway, yeah. just a just a side note. It's a good side note. Watch the like focus. That. Watch the focus. Who just sent me something? Was it you, Kevin? Oh yes, yeah. it was you, Kevin. It's always Kevin. Uh, Kevin's trying to distract us. Oh, hello, sharp, Marty. Cracking sharpness on those eyes. Hey, look at that. That's look what that. you want on focus, isn't it? Yeah, boom. So uh, another self-portrait. We're still in week one at this point, which is... Um, yeah. Nice light. Um, nice light, too. He's done all right there. I'm, I'm going to guess that it's studio lit. I'm, oh, I'm got, saying... He looks like two lights. Yeah, I'm seeing an umbrella in... In the right hand side of the eye, yeah. Uh, but yes, definitely the focus is uh, pinpoint. Um, any thoughts on the hand? You know, I kind of like the hand because it provides a bit of a frame for the face. Yep. I would have, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I would like the hand if it was positioned slightly further out, or, so it was like right at the edge of the frame, so there wasn't so much space around it. Yep. But that's just me. I, I, I'm going through a bit of a phase of cropping really tight. Yeah, <laughs> and people are like, why'd you crop that tight? And I'm like, because I like doing that. Because <laughs> I wanted to. It's my yeah. photo. I do what at, I want. To. At the moment, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, so, you uh, shouldn't place that cup of coffee in that frame. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. Swiftly yeah, I like on. That. Yeah. So now we're moving into week two, which was rule of thirds. Now is, I was um, going to say when I was looking through the images before. And geez, I'm talking a lot, but I, I was thinking about this this particular image. If this, Kerry, was in the self-portraits week, it would have been stunning. I mean, how the hell did you take it from there? And what are you doing on a horse? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, clear you, you missed the uh, rule of thirds yeah. precursor to the file name at first. I did. I was like, where's the remote? What's she done? Has she put that on timer? What's going on? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> rule of thirds. Yeah, she, yeah. She's it's a rather n nicely balanced image that Kerry's produced. It is, but there, there's too many distracting elements in it for my my liking. I, and there's not much you can do about it um, aside of Photoshop, which if it's a photojournalistic image, you can't do. Um, or reposition yourself on the side of the track so you don't have those big old signs in the background. So maybe move a few feet to your right or wait for the horses to come a bit closer or a bit further away yeah. or something, maybe. Yeah, I think um, what Kerry has done is great. I, I think perhaps the thing that he has um, captured, which is the most distracting element, isn't the signs in the background, but the ute. 
Yeah, damn Toyotas. That's, and I might yeah. have called Kerry a lady as well. Sorry about that, Kerry. I apologize. Again, rule of thirds, we have uh, King Marty up again, who was uh, the man with the big hand. Ah, the big hand man. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know about placing something on all of the rule of thirds because it makes for a really busy image. Yep. Um, it's kind of cool. I really like the background. Um, yeah. Sure he's he's done the old... Uh, I, in, in my guess, I would say he's used the old foil trick. Yeah, I was going to say something crinkly. Yeah, a foil or um, cellophane or something like that and yeah. light bouncing into it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And if Kevin was here, he'd be having conniptions, you know. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, he's going to come back so disappointed that he missed the Star Wars photo. <laughs> exactly. So. We'll, we'll sing the theme tune when he comes back. Or you, you'll sing the theme tune when it comes back. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, that, that will be after the recording. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. So. Yeah. No, uh, um, that one's quite, quite again, nice. Again, yeah. rule of thirds here by, uh, by Linda. So, um, a lovely capture of the, uh, the bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> it doesn't look bubbles. I, I do enjoy um, bubbles. Actually, Sebastian, my five-year-old, got a new um, bubble wand thing this morning and uh i told him no seb you can't open it inside because you'll spill that stuff everywhere and proceeded directly to open it and spray it around the room myself lovely uh it's really nice young ladies placed on the third yep um Uh, beautiful use of the uh the backlighting with the sun yeah yeah it's really nice it's catching on the hair and and the bubbles look awesome with those little mind you that's that spray, or what is that? Is that like water shooting up or something? Because it's like, must be moving pretty quick. I'm not 100% sure. I, when I first saw it, I'm assuming it's using one of those bubble guns like you just mentioned. Oh, gotcha, yeah. My guess would be it's just like many, many bubbles exploding around it. Strafing. Yeah. Brrr. Yeah, cool, with a bit of a swing set in the background. Yeah, not too distracting. It's out of focus yeah, just yeah. enough, so it's... No, it's nice. I like that one. It's got a nice feel to it. And sometimes you, you don't need to, like the whole technical side of things, I mean, it get, sometimes it can get in the way of a good photo. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Hmm. Here we have uh, Steve's rule of thirds photo, which is a lovely, I don't know what you call this. It's kind of looks like kind of... a bus stop. Yeah. Um, the sunglasses placed perfectly on the third. Yeah. And... Um, the support pole actually just on the edge of the third as well. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It hasn't got too many like distracting elements. I don't really have. Yeah, there's not a lot to say about this image. It's um, no. it's just rather rather clean, rather neat. Make a um, nice and make a nice um, backdrop on your computer. Yeah, like, definitely. Background screen. So, oh no, it's kind of cool. Uh, now we're into week three with paper. Now, hello eyes. Hello, eyes. This is Die. Die. Uh, wow. Well, that's just nailed the focus. Focus is spot on on the eyes. Nice. Um. Nice background. Nice Again. and nice and blurred. So paper. Uh, obviously, Die has a paper fan there. Paper fan. Yes. Right. Yes. Um. And the light is beautiful. Is that a big old window light? Obviously, the catch light in her eyes looks like a big old window or a big uh, square screen or something. I would actually say. That is a octo uh, octopod. I do believe ah, Kevin's back. Ke- Kevin's back, or that's another earthquake. <laughs> or the, yeah, either way. So, uh, I've been on my kin- uh, Kinabalu. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, I, I would actually say it's a studio light through a octo uh, softbox. Can you zoom in? A studio light through an octopus. Uh, I, I'm. Oh, thinking yeah, it's yeah, maybe it's light. something. Yeah, maybe it's a flash fired into, or maybe it's a. Oh, I don't flame it though. Looks like a photograph to me. It's pretty nice yeah. though. I like it. Yeah, like giant ass window on the side. Giant what? Giant window? ass window on the side. Oh right, I was thinking. You can Kevin's you can Kevin's don't. poor tooth is is struggling don't, here. Don't 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 make me say well if in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, well, I, I don't know if that thing's made out of paper or dye, actually. I mean, we might have to deduct points for that. Might not be deduct pa- points for... Th- might not be paper. It, it, it looks paper <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. I'm going to let her off. Jeez. Next, we move into week four with leading lines and dye once again. 
Now, I was looking at this image earlier, and I, I love the depth of field and the focus in on, on her, the main subject, but I think the depth of field should have been... I think that aperture should have been shut down a little bit more and, and, and we should have been let in a bit more by the edge of the desk. Yep. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because with the blur, you don't really kind of like it's gravitate def- to the edge of the desk until it starts to get into focus. No, nah, because you with a with a, a strong leading line shot, you want to definitely be led into the image. And I mean, maybe it's because I'm a bloke, <laughs> but the, look, I'm just going to come out and say it. The suspenders got me first. But yep. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I definitely do. I actually wonder how this image would have turned out if the focus was actually over here yeah. on the thing and Dai was actually out of focus and like the strong leading line going into out of focus into just the hint, the, yeah. the ambiguity. I, I, I agree. I would like to see that. Reshoot. Sorry, Dai. Where's the Lytro? Where's the Lytro? Yeah. Uh, in receivership? <laughs> wow that, that is accurate it's very accurate unfortunately uh, blonde so, robot if you're listening i apologize <laughs> we still have leading lines well week four was actually lines and leading lines i like it um it's nice but yes but yes they another it's a non-typical uh, photo line, by marcella so it's a non-typical uh, but, yeah. one i reckon well yeah i reckon kind of like it you reckon uh, yeah, i reckon <laughs> You reckon, you reckon? Flame it, crikey. Yeah. <laughs> Is Marcella from... Of where's Marcella from? Uh, from Mexico. Oh, great. So, so she's going to hear my Australian like. accent and go, what is this what guy the... on about? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, oh, we're, we're, we're thinking that too and, you know, we're from here. So. Um, but yeah, lovely leading lines leading into the tree in the, in the middle. Don't make um, me come over there, Peter. Oh, uh, well, you know, <laughs> you keep driving past Newcastle every time, so... I um, wave, I wave. You you do wave. Yeah. I, I I hear you wave. You yeah. drive past. But um, but yes, uh, lovely leading lines into the tree. Nice horizontal lines. Um, even the clouds are somewhat kind of tumbling down. You know what would be interesting in this shot? Maybe a bit of um, an ND filter and a slightly longer exposure to get a bit of movement in the clouds. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nice though. I like it. It's got a nice warm feel, and my feet are freezing. So bring it on. That's, that's what you need. How, how cold is it in Melbourne right now? Uh, pretty darn. Pretty darn. Oh, really? I've got the tequila. It's fine. You know, I don't have heating, Kev. I'm sitting in a room that's got cracks in the floors. A snake. And, and that's why Sebby should be sleeping across your feet. A snake so, could come in at any time and eat you, me. You just need no, to... No, it's just a rat. It's um, okay. I've, I've seen your office. You have enough think tank bags that you could just cover your floor with oh, think tank bags. I've only got 49 sleep. and I can still see a square patch of carpet. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a metre squared, but... Yeah. yeah. Actually, I, I, I do believe that uh, we extended a, um, a, a currently unreleased bag to, uh, to your good selves uh, for a, uh, a bit of a preview. Kevin is is wielding the bag, and um, yes. I hope saying, he doesn't wield it. I hope he just wears it on his back and says whether he likes it or not. Yes, I'm not about to name the brand or the model. Yes, um, <laughs> it is coming. <laughs> it, it is coming soon, and uh, Kevin will be dropping uh, a nice little review on that. Dropping, soon. dropping bombs, like dropping bombs. Sorry, dropping bombs away. I was, trying to, bombs. I was trying to be so straight. Can I just um uh, just stop us here for a second and. This sure. was, this isn't a obviously this isn't a drink and click, and this isn't a um a beer, <laughs> beers and blokes podcast. Yes, um, but there's a unicorn but you want a beer. here. Well. But I so Kevin, what are you? What's your tipple of the evening? I'm having Patron um, tequila. <laughs> I'm keeping it light, are we? <laughs> Just keeping it light. <laughs> <laughs> one photo, one shot of tequila. <laughs> Uh, I, I have excuse for not talking right, so the tequila just uh, adds to it. Yeah, uh, I, I think he might actually be getting clearer. He's doing well. And what about uh, what about you, Peter? You, um... I'm I'm on a nice little uh, drop of uh, Jura Superstition whiskey. So um, oh, you've gone up market today. I've gone up market. I've gone all out. You know, it's our first podcast in a while. I thought I'd celebrate the the occasion. Jeepers! Wow. <laughs> and and you are drinking tea. I am. Yes. Yeah. Ultra, yep. ultra, it's Tetley's. Ultra strong yep. te- Tetley's. <laughs> Tetley's. Tetley's. Not even a Sulfur Organics tea. That's, no? No, Anita, I am very sorry, but I needed a kick of black. 
Uh, I'm sure she would happily kick you in the ass too. Uh. I'm, I'm pretty sure she would, yes. Uh, maybe, maybe I just wanted to get that out of the way because, you know, I mean... Yeah, you, some... you just heard Kevin slowly slurring his speech. What? I did, and I wanted to make sure people knew why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here we are with week five with emotion, with a very, very strong image here by Steve. The soccer rules. I mean, um, yes, Steve. The soccer rules. Asian Cup. The Asian Cup. Yep. Our good friend, our friend Rob from Getty was there. Uh, yes, yes. Firing Rob. off on the sidelines. Yes, he's probably one of these down there. 30 people in orange. Yeah. Somewhere <laughs> around here. He'll be the shortest uh, one. Yeah. He'll, he'll, we'll be having a chat with Rob in a, two or three weeks' time about uh, oh, our really? free challenge. Yeah. We uh, had a challenge of panning and movement, and Rob is our guest judge. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we'll be having a chat with him sometime soon. Good, good, good. So, that sounds fun. Always amazes me and amuses me how many events are sponsored by this company over here, but none of these guys over here use said company's gear. And I'm pretty sure all of those little black dots along the uh, the bottom of those orange people. Pretty sure we all know where they're from too, folks. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> if, we, um, if we don't, we're going to pretend. Yes, the Gettys yeah. guys do use Think Tank quite a lot. They do. Oh, um, well, some of them do. Yeah. Anyway, well, it's, it's good to see considering, um, you know, you need a good, you know, solid, very much weatherproof bag. And considering the number of uh, Getty go. photographers, <laughs> Getty photographers who got drenched during halftime at Asian Cup games, it was very amusing. Yeah, I bet. Because um, they, yeah. they watered the pitch at halftime and none of the photographers were paying attention at any of the games I was at. And all of them got wet. They actually watered the pitch. They watered the pitch at halftime. What for? Um, we'll I think it's lettuce? just to um, to slow the ball down. I don't even know. Well, so um, does that remind anyone of the night that we went out to do a shoot? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Yes, it does. Where there was a pitch as well. Hey, Halfway what? through a shoot and we got wet. What's that sound? Oh, sprinklers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Soccer is awesome. Well, uh, that's a – yeah, it is. It's a very strong image. There's many elements. Hmm. It's uh, the good old Aussie flag. Just a sea of gold. Anyone would think that the Asian Cup was being hosted in Australia this year. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Uh, very strong image. Nice one, Steve. We have Susan with emotion. Ah, oh, look at that light tipping across the uh, smoke on the top of her Rio Grande mug there. I wonder what the emotion is. I wonder if she's just burnt herself and she's trying to look normal. <laughs> Or I think it's a look of peace and contentment. I know. I was just wondering. <laughs> Did, Peter's going, going to extra miles to explain and yeah. how some of these were. I love it. Just, yeah. in ca- just in case anyone didn't know I was joking. Yeah. Yep. I, I feel suddenly like I'm Drax in um, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy with, with the comment of sarcasm goes right over his head. And he's like, no, it doesn't. I would catch it. <laughs> Uh, I am good. But yes. Um, mm. Great image. Capturing smoke or steam is always very tricky. If you've got smoke coming out of your cup of tea, there's probably probably <laughs> bigger issues at hand. Or the fire brigade. <laughs> yeah, I like it. A bit of light across the top. That's nice. Lit from the right. Yeah. Smashed it. Nice one, Susan. Smashed it. Emotion. Your emotion is conveyed. Motion is conveyed, and we have here Veronica with um, a very horrible image of soup. Which um, what's horrible about it? It's soup. Nobody likes soup. Soup I... is evil. You cannot eat a liquid, and you cannot drink a food. It's unnatural. It's evil. <laughs> You're an idiot. I'll be the guy who has smoothies. Then <laughs> you know, actually, that just took me harking back to uh, Podgoat. <clears throat> <laughs> you, you guys were insane as well. Good well, well I, every every episode, Pete would say something like that, and I would go, "Pete, you're an idiot." <laughs> but yes, this I'm is... not even kidding. His name is Pete. Pete Raptor. G'day, Pete, uh, if you're listening. Uh, oh, it's that's, too funny. That's just something about the name Pete. It's the great. only thing I, the only thing I've, it, it, has um, Veronica got like a, a knitting needle stuck in the right hand side of the soup as we're looking at it. I do believe that's a spoon. No, 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 not the, not the thing she's holding on the other side, above the bread. Oh, if the bread no, was a, a necklace, if the bread was a shark, above it would be necklace. the shark's fin. <laughs> that, that would be a necklace. You can see the bottom oh, of the necklace. Oh, there you are. Yes, of course, of course. Yes, sorry, sorry. 
Um, and are we, uh, Veronica's used a, a filter to blur out a little bit of her face there. Yeah. On the top of the image. Some bit of creative control. But I, yeah. like, I like the contentment she has with her soup, even if you don't, Peter. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm glad someone here likes soup. Evil, evil soup. There's nothing wrong with soup. Um, oh. Here we have our uh, first entry of week six, which was blue. And this is by Fireball. This is a great image. That is a great image. And the T-shirt is just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. It could do a little decluttering of the black background, but the rest of it is very good. <laughs> it's well, great, great humour. You know, he could have got in nice and close to that. Um, that's a perfect background for portraits, that um, blind over there in the background. He could have got it nice and close and got a, a desk lamp or something and wedged it on the fan and had a really strong image. I agree. And crank the a, fan on. It's a, oh. Yeah. Yeah, put it, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Not, I'm just going to put it right out there right away. Just, you know, safety warning by Botox. Don't put, like, lamps on your ceiling fan and then turn no, your ceiling no, fans no, on. No, 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 no. Don't listen en- to Kevin. If you're stupid enough to put lights on your fan and turn them on, please video it and post it into it. <laughs> Botox yes. it. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's great, great comic. Image. Yeah, good fun. Uh, and again, we have the return of Star Wars. <laughs> Kevin missed the last Star Wars photo. An error has occurred. <laughs> God, flaming and Darth Vader's the background going, no! Yes. <laughs> it, it possibly did need Darth Vader just over here with his arms oh, up screaming. The force definitely is not strong with this one. It's a great image. Kevin, to, can you and, decipher that error message? It's 6E016F. Uh, R- I would actually say that's zero E. Whatever, buddy. <laughs> no, zero knowing, e. knowing, knowing Windows error codes as well as I do, I'm saying that's zero E. Right, that's it. You're getting control alt deleted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, still the delete key doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> I, I have Windows errors, so oh, I guess. I think I'm Great up. little image. A nice little bit of ghetto lighting. Oh, I love a bit of ghetto light. I think you may have. Hey, just as a side note, did you know that you can buy a dolphin power boat for sixty-five thousand dollars? No, bet you didn't. Moving swiftly on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was obviously on eBay. <laughs> no, it's on this website called thisiswhyimbroke.com. dot com. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I do know that website. You can buy well, wearable sleeping bags for $159, and I seriously want one. Or oh, the world's most powerful laser. I'm not even kidding. This stuff is real. Ones here, man. Sorry, I'm moving swiftly on. Okay, <laughs> what are we... Nightscapes, okay. Nightscapes night, here. Night so we, we have a nice nightscape here of Bob's Neighbourhood. Thoughts? It's got um nice little starry burst. Yeah, I I, th- I think that's the reason we we picked this image was the the flare on the lights is, is <coughs> rather cool. Excuse me. So it's a long uh, ex- a long exposure of sorts. Well, or, or it's a it's, really closed down aperture. Uh, yeah, it seems to have um, a flash kicking on here with the, yeah. the tree being as bright as it is. Or a car parked there. Or a car could be ghetto lighting with a car again. Yes. Yeah, you know what? Or his truck. It could be a street light, and mm. it's just a long exposure. Yeah. Um, very or, true. Or aliens landed in the middle of the road right as he was taking well, the Well, right as just, yeah. Um, just before got taken up. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's possible. Um, again, really cool leading lines leading down to the, the three lights at the back. Yeah, so. quite nice. So, yeah, uh, night, nightscapes, uh, long exposure, bit of uh, light trail around the corner there. Yeah. Nice little technique to use every now and then. Whereabouts is this? Where's Somewhere David? in um, Scotland. Oh, okay, laddie. I laddie. Sorry. I'm not even going to attempt a Scottish accent. <laughs> I just butchered one. <laughs> I think Kevin butchered it worse. That's okay. I'm Asian. English, my second language. An Asian yep. in Australia doing a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Botox. <laughs> oh, good times. Um, that's a rather cool little image with the, the silhouettes down towards the back and the light trails. Yeah. Like. Um, here we have a nightscape of Newcastle by Kerry. Kerry. Nice. Seems to kick your ass, Peter. Yeah, it's... Um, have you been there, Pete? Have you taken yes. that photo? I haven't taken that exact photo, no. Why um, not? Why not? Um, taking photos in Civic Park at night time can be a little bit dicey at times. Oh, really? 
Yeah, oh, it's just Newcastle. Kev, Pete <laughs> I, to, I have great fondness Pete for Pete needs my... to come and hang out in Melbourne a bit more. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He misses his chance for the photo walk. Yeah, yeah, I know. What were you thinking, mate? I know. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Next time. Next time. Yeah. But yeah, nice, nice image. Um, this image wouldn't have been possible a few years ago because we had uh, beautiful big fig trees up along the back here, but they got oh. cut down. So now we have this nice big Art Deco library. Can I ask a quick question? Was that building there before the earthquake? I'm going to say yes, because I'm pretty sure that was built in the You weren't born there, were you? Yeah, I've been there as long as I've been born. Earthquake was 89. 89, yeah, right. Yeah, I was 15, I think. Were you in Newcastle? You went in Newcastle. No, I was in Coffs. Coffs? Yeah. So did you feel it up there? or? No, I just moved to Coffs and I was probably fishing or something. But we knew people we'll from new people from Newcastle at the time. Yeah, I was I was playing my old Atari, and it it stopped working, and the TV went bang, and everything stopped. And I thought oh, I'd wow. like finish the game and destroyed everything at the same time. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> destroyer of worlds. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> sorry, that's, sorry that's... for that side. <laughs> another 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 dispersion. Dispersion? Uh, dispersion? No. <laughs> Whatever. Please dispersing yeah. there. It doesn't even, hmm. Yeah. Uh, beautiful long exposure. Yeah, Again, nice, nice starburst. Um, is it level? I think it's level. I think it it's looks level. very straight. I've got my tape measure out and it looks pretty good. Cool. Here we have uh, Linda popping up again in Nightscapes. Um, oh. Somewhere down your way. Mount Buller. Really? Buller Banaka? Yes. Oh, no, that's Fiji, isn't it? <laughs> oh, for black we'll, we'll sky. Go yeah. Oh, for black sky or dark sky. Mm. To be it's able a stunning to, image. Yeah, right. to be able to do this sort of stuff. Mm. So, how, how far away is is Mount Buller from Melbourne? Three, yeah. three hours. Uh, give or take. Yeah. Depends on how hard you push the pedal. So I'm you you really have to go quite a way out of the city to get a photo like this. Oh no, you could like if you drove out to Warrandyte or something, you'd be on your way. But you probably want to go another hour after that. Uh, so that's like an hour and a half out of the city, I guess. What do you reckon, Kevin? You'd need to get about. Almost two hours, I say. There's still a bit of population around. Yeah, fair play. Yeah. Uh, do you reckon you get um, decent dark sky down at the Twelve Apostles? Because that's something on my radar at the moment. That is high on my radar. Let's do it. Let's go and do. Okay. Let's just go at eleven o'clock one night. Drive down there. Do long exposures. Two o'clock in the morning. Then uh, have mackers. Come home. <laughs> have mackers. Wait for the sunrise. Do the sunrise from the other end, and then come home. I do actually want to go down there to do sunset down on the beach, like down the beach of the Twelve Apostles. Well, that means we have to stay overnight. Yes. I'm not camp on the camp beach. With you, mate. Oh, you could you always take been before. Two, two tents. You're not meant to, you're not meant <laughs> to say those things on podcasts. Uh, there's, there's more than uh, one tent was, in the world. I wasn't meant to say. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> You've never been camping with Kevin, obviously, Pete. No. <laughs> it's not high on my to-do list. <laughs> Uh, moving but yes, swiftly on. Swiftly on. <laughs> it's the catch cry of this this episode. Yes, yes, um, yes. Beautiful bit of light painting on the the wall and the shack, and yeah, oh, nice, yeah, nice, nice little bit of uh, yeah. light. Yeah. Um, now we move into a theme set by Kevin to celebrate Chinese New Year. We went with Chinese New Year slash Asian inspired photographs. Um, Dai well, takes a we wicked photo. Dai. She really does. Indeed. Well, she's nailed that fact. But I, I am curious at her lighting. It does look like a big old door or window or something. Quite possibly is. I, I'm guessing you're right. I, I think she's taking this in a hallway or in a room at the end of a hallway, and she's using a big door. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, having a quick look through her flicker, it looks like she's got a big old window in her bedroom, maybe, and maybe there's a hallway or something there, but I'd like to know, because it just, I, I quite like it. Mm, it it's really it's nice. great lighting. Yeah. It's great lighting. And again, she's absolutely nailed the focus. That cool. hair is quite bright. Yeah, that's yeah. epic. So, uh, oh, that's here's still cool. in Chinese New Year, we have uh, Marcella again. Nice work on the lips, and the, um, the, ch- the, yeah, the makeup in this is really cool. I'd love to see more of that. Focus is spot on. Now, did we um, decide on. that it was post the makeup or? Yeah, because look at the chin, the line down the whiteness 
and the line down on the bottom of the chin. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I'm not quite sure if it's... The, the lips, definitely, I would say, would be... Well, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it was done in post, but it doesn't look like no, it. No, I don't reckon. She's even, I even remembered this bit in here, if it is. Oh, I think that's that's real makeup. We can yeah, verify it later. Pretty cool, anyway. But yeah, it's a great image. Yeah, lips on the third. Uh, always strong. Remembering old themes, always good. Um, here we have MK Lacey with a great little street scene. Done on an iPhone as well. Done on an iPhone. It looks like yeah. it's been um, kind of water painted. You know, like the, that that uh, filter. Is filter's the right word? I don't know. Yeah. These newfangled things you people use. <laughs> Instagram? I've only got my box brownie. Oh, hang on. No, I don't. Uh, and, and are you chomping on the brownies? Yeah, yes. But yeah, this is a, a nice, strong, little, busy scene. Um, obviously, Chinatown or something. I, I, I like the image. I possibly would have liked it one window over, so it was a little bit more balanced. central. Yeah. A bit more balanced. But um, it, it reminds me of a um, Blade Runner-esque scene. Just a daytime Blade Runner-esque scene. I, I don't mind it, but I can't work out what... The not, signs say? Yeah, no. Well, <laughs> Uh, wow, Kevin. <laughs> I can understand the signs, mate. Don't you worry. Three, 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 six, one, 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 one. I know that. Jeez. I I can't work out what's ha- what's happening with the processing. Whether it's an iPhone shot that has been zoomed in, or whether it's an iPhone shot that's at full res that's had like a a painter kind of filter over the top of it. Not yeah. that not that that's important because I think it would actually make it quite a cool print on a wall. Yeah. Um, but I, it's just toying with my head. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, whether I, I, I'm guessing that it's a zoom, right? Um, it it just has that pixels struggling to render kind of feel to it from zooming in on well, the iPhone. Yeah. Rather than a processing thing, but I really dig the effect that it's it's created. Yeah, I kind of so, like it. Yeah. So you don't think it's like an eight bit Mario game? I, yeah, screenshot <laughs> out of Mario Brothers. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. So here we have uh, die with movement and motion. Um, Love it. Love it. Yep. Nice tats. Great little bit of movement with the twirl of the dress. Now Always hang good. on. Is that die's actual hair? If die's name is actually die, is that die's hair? Um, oh, she dye her hair. You think? Um, is that um, what you're implying? Well, <laughs> no, like it's just like really red. It's pretty epic. Yeah. Um, and, I do not know, to be honest. And you know, the focus is screwing with my head in this image because the hat looks like it was put on in post. Look at look at the edges of the hat as it comes down over the hair. I'm, maybe I'm just going crazy, yeah. but the hat's fully in focus. The lips are in focus. You can kind of see a editing line there. Yeah, on the, on the right-hand side. She's blurred her hair on the left side Which doesn't, in post. You know, it doesn't, just where the hat line is. And it, so, doesn't, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. It's just yeah. like the focus line or the, the depth of field line looks, it comes across her chest, up across her neck, maybe lips. But the front of the hat, I, in my head, the front of the hat point. shouldn't be in focus. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering whether... And that, I yeah, expect and it I, to be blue with the hair moving that much. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say the hat was probably in the photo, but I'm guessing the movement has been added in post. Right. That would be my guess, because the hair... Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I, I, I'm guessing it's a, a motion blur effect in post. Right. Ah. I don't know. But very cool image. Yeah. Nice motion. But it's just the, the, the hat weirds me out a bit. But it's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so here we have Marcella again with movement and motion, and one of the creepiest photos I've ever seen. Oh, no, it's fantastic. It's great, but yeah. it's it's creepy as hell. <laughs> oh, the doll in the bottom corner, it's just... Oh, well, yeah. It's, yes. uh, it so is. Yeah, that's. I, I really like that. Yeah, it, it just takes me back to... There was a movie I watched when I was a kid that like, freaked the hell out of me for years. And, yeah, well, uh, well done, Marcella. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, great image. If Pete great can't image. sleep at night, you know you've got a strong image. Yeah, and, and that's the good work on scaring the grand poo bar. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. Considering... Massive horror film fan, and that's freaking me out. So, yeah, nicely done. Love the black and white. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. He's a good choice. Yeah. Very good choice. It's, um, and it's not too contrasty, too. It's just a, a nice um, processing. Hmm. Over to Kerry with movement and motion. A nice little bit of panning. Oh, there you go. 
Bit of cricket. Bit of cricket. Because somewhere in Australia it's cricket. The Gabba or the Wacker or the MCG, it doesn't matter where you are. Sorry. I went into 12th man mode then for a second. Can't can't go wrong with 12th man either. No, that's right. Chew for 222. (laughs) Chew for (laughs) 222. Oh, rest his soul. That's uh, that's, that's very nice. Yeah. I I like a bit of panning. I would have liked a slightly faster shutter speed to to, um, freeze up his face a little bit more. Yep. Uh, Or, no, well, yeah, no, it's a bit of a combination, isn't it? Whether it's nailing the speed of your pan... Or the focus, or the focus. The on, yeah, the focus during the fan, the yeah. fa- the fan focus. The, the, that we. The, the, yep. Yeah. I, I know exactly what you mean. You know what I mean. There is mud. <laughs> Kerry so. has no idea what I'm talking about because no. I can't even spit the words out. But Pete, so, um, you're on it. We didn't actually include his other cricket image from the series, but during narrative, he included another series, which included a great bouncer straight to the uh, googlies of the batsman. Ouch. Um. Just a small point there. See the white line coming out from the bat, the, the bowler's head? Yep. Yes. See, just there, intersecting the middle of the line, there's a bit of... Is that, is that dust? Right there. And if that's dust, that means he's got his aperture shut right down rather than keeping his aperture as open as possible and adjusting the, the speed, the pan speed with his shutter speed. I don't know. Just thinking mm. out loud. I don't know. It is interesting. Because, it could be dust in the centre. Well, down the bottom in front of his shadow, diagonally in front of his shadow, there's another spot there's there. There's another bit. Yep. Uh, might Fine. be time for a sensor clean there, Kerry. Ah, uh, just pour water in it. <laughs> well, <laughs> does, does, does anyone else use a Dyson? <laughs> do, do I need to give another warning here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't pour water in it. Don't, don't pour water in your camera, folks. No. But don't be too precious about it because you can't actually get to the sensor if you take a lens off. There's a bit of glass across in front of it that you're cleaning. King Marty again uh, over in... Where's Marty from again? Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Oh, uh, that place doesn't exist anymore, guys. So, uh, Czech Republic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... <clears throat> no fault, be okay. Oh, yeah, nice little uh, bit of, of light trailing again. It's really yeah. cool. Good done. Good, oh, good vantage section. point. Yeah, yeah, it's a great intersection. I think that's half the, the problem with getting really cool light trails is finding the perfect vantage spot. Yeah. Or if in Simon's case, he'll have a seven-foot tripod he can use. Yes, well, it's always handy as well. <clears throat> That's right, seven feet. <clears throat> Master of Puppets, what a classic, classic so. track. Master, Master. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went up. You, I could, my guitar's just there. I could play it for you. No, I won't, though. That's, Feel free. It's that. just another tangent. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I can't. not going to do it? So, uh, a great image here by Dai. Nice That's... little bit of um, Photoshop. And Tattoo Magazine in the background. Yep. What was the theme? Uh, this theme was music. music. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, perfectly yeah. on top of my job here. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid that, regardless of the image quality, Master of Puppets... She's just won my vote for uh, the round of music. Uh, round of music. Uh, yep. First image, okay. Uh, let's move on to the second image of music. Fireball uh, and a Gibson. Yep. So, yeah, Fireball with his, his Gibson guitar. Nice little shot. Perhaps the tuning peg. I would, have, I would have preferred his focus to be up on the head sock, um, right, yep. on, right on Gibson. But, you know, that's okay. Nice, nice inter- interesting perspective. Um, yeah. Shallower depth of field may have been... A bit cooler as well. Uh, we have a live music shot here by Kerry. Maybe Fireballs was playing Master of Puppets. Maybe. <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry. Live music shot. Live music shot here by Kerry. Okay. Yes. Right. Um, um, it's interesting. The lack of cool stage lighting kind of drowns it out a bit for me, but it's nice and contrasty and kind of suits the... The old school guitar. It looks like it's got a cyanotype kind of soft filter, over, like a cyanotypey kind of filter over the top. That bit of green into the black. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Music images is a tough one. Um, yeah, it really is. Because, uh, and I found myself doing this the other night um, at the last gig I shot. Rather than getting straight in there, I would sort of get about half a song in and then kind of get into the music first. <laughs> Yep. You know, and wait for those moments when 
I mean, in in this case, you know, she's looking at her fingering. She's she's midway between a chord or she's sliding it and waiting for those moments in the musician where the musician's face is where you want it to be rather than, I don't know, there's just something about... It doesn't really speak to me, this one, I'm afraid. Yeah, live music photography is, is very tough, especially if you haven't seen the act before. I've, you know, I do a little bit as well, but mostly with the same bands. Yeah. And um, when when you follow the same band quite a bit, you know when you know they're going to crank out the big note and which so, song and things yeah. like that. So yeah, it's, no, it can be totally hard. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Same as anything, like a wedding, when you have to dodge around a grandma with an iPad. Yep. Or the selfie stick. Oh, I'm totally it's for selfie. selfie sticks and iPads at wedding. Yep. Anyone so, that uh, complains about them, I'm afraid, I think they need to slap. Oh, hang on, wait. <laughs> you guys. <wrote> that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's nothing better than a, an iPad on a selfie stick in the middle of the aisle. I would, I would quite like to see a Windows tablet on a selfie <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but nobody's got a Windows tablet, so it's okay. Well, yeah, never gonna have. My, my dad does. Oh, okay. I take it back. One right. person has a Windows tablet. Here we have Steve with his mm. music image. Bit of Rolling Stones. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I think it points there as well. It, I, interesting it, composition. Very interesting composition. Care to elaborate? Well, he's got the soup spoon. Obviously, he's got the soup spoon on the record because it's goat's head, goat's head soup. Um, Knife is back to front. Uh, no, it's to no, the roll. It's a butter knife, so... Mm. Pe- Peter's never set a table before. <laughs> well, it's... He does it's live at home. Come on, it's soup. It's soup, okay? <laughs> Lost points for me again. <laughs> it's <laughs> a knife, you don't... I've never before. used a soup spoon before, so I'm perfectly okay with saying yeah. I don't know how to set a table for a meal. Talk about soup. a knife, though. No, nah, you need a slap. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. It's got interesting elements, and I I don't mind a bit of Rolling Stones. Not it's a little that, bit off centre, I found. Yeah, tiny. And the elbow on the right hand side, if we're being really picky, is heading off on a slope down towards the right hand side of the image, but here nor there. And maybe the table's slightly off horizon as well. But kind of cool. Kind of freaks you out. I mean, who? Definitely points are very different. <laughs> that's nice. A little bit hot, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a an outside shot. A live music shot here by Susan. Yeah, this was um, out of a comfort zone. Yeah, definitely out of a comfort zone. She's never really photographed other people before, and um, oh, cool. She she took the plunge and and went out on some advice by us and just hit up a busker and and asked if she could take an image or two, and um, <coughs> he was more than willing. So it's, got a live music shot and helped tough. out a busker in the process. It's tough yeah. if you've never photographed someone in the street before. It's tough. Yeah, it really is. Um, I did. My first bit of street photography when I was down in Melbourne, actually. Oh, right. And, um, yeah, I'd, I'd never done it before, and I eased myself into it with doing the, the great zombie walk down in, in Melbourne. Oh, yeah. So that's, you know, jumping into something organized like that's always a good thing because obviously the people who dress up in their zombie outfits want to be photographed, so they were sure. all for it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, from there I, I ventured out and did a bit of other street photography as well. So it, cool. it is tough if you've never done it before. I think a, a little bit of advice with photographing buskers as, as well is that buskers, 95% of the time, are pretty into what they're doing, into their music. Like, that's why they're on the street, playing their music. Um, but if you if you interact with them before you take the photos, you get a different photo than if you just kind of kind of snuck up and took a photo. But at the same time, it's really tough to, you know, you you go up and you sneak a photo and then they see you and you're like, oh, no. Yeah. (laughs) What have I done? But, yeah, yeah, what's the worst that can happen? They go, hey, you pay me money. Yeah, pretty much. Give them a gold coin. Which, you know, you probably intended on doing anyway. Uh, But, yeah, I I like the image. It's, you know, a nice little bit of leading lines. I do too. It's nice. It is a bit of hot, but I'm guessing it was photographed in the middle of the day. No, you can still see a tiny bit of cloud in the background or something. Like, it's not... Totally blown. Nice little I bit like of it. depth oh. of field in that too. So. Yeah, it's nice. Um, and final image for music we have Veronica. Treatment. Yeah, quite a lot of treatment, but I think it really works with this this image of this band. It could be an old frame in an old an old photograph in an old frame in an old pub in yeah. an old with an old antique treatment. Feels like it should be in the Back to the Future. 
3? Was that the one where they went back to the Wild West? Well, the only problem is they're selling CDs on the seat. Yeah, that's true. My, they could have Those gone... are coasters. They're coasters. They coasters. could have gone to the future, <laughs> produced a CD, and then gone back to the past. <laughs> and no wonder they're not making money. I know. <laughs> No, because yeah. if they'd gone to the future, they would have gone, well, nobody buys CDs. They only buy MP3s. They download. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I think I may have taken that a little too far. I apologise. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cool cool treatment of the image. Um, works well with the band. Nice little image. A little bit dark down the bottom, maybe. Bring a bit more detail out. Used a bit of uh, vignetting in post, maybe. Or well, that framey, the filtery framey. Yeah, it's probably Maybe what's doing it. Yeah. Just if you cut it into thirds up to down, it's quite quite dark at the bottom. Mm. Mind you, maybe there's not much down there we need to see. There's a fallback wedge on the floor by the looks of it. They yeah. didn't have them in the past. Hang on. <laughs> anyway, it's moving swiftly right. on. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, contrast with Marty. Um, uh, contrast uh, was quite a quite a tough week in the end. That's well. Uh, I mean, contrast is just the edge. You know, it's yeah, the edge of. And there are strong edges. There are strong yeah. black and whites and the separation between the two. Nice little bit of beam of light. Who doesn't love a good alien beam? Anyway, moving swiftly on. We don't... We we, uh, we, we don't know what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, she's nailed it again. I feel your pain. Yeah. <laughs> so for anybody it, wondering why we started recording this podcast late, it's because of my damn kids. Yeah. They were yeah. doing what your kids are doing. Pretty much. Except See, I wasn't wearing a princess outfit. Sure, well, yeah. You're just not admitting to it. I am now. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't then. Oh, that's why I didn't have time to get out of the way. Oh, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's great, great narrative image here by, by Di. Um, environmental portraiture, I'd probably put this into. And, um, Peter. Yes. This takes us on another journey of lighting with Di. And it's been a bit of a theme, what lighting is Di using? But this one looks definitely artificially lit, obviously, because you've got the backlit, mm. backlight of the window uh, and a strong I, source on the front. I am slightly concerned that a fridge is off. <laughs> well, her cupboard is off. The it's stove off. on the other side is also <laughs> off. But <laughs> the horizontal bench just above where the fork's about to stab into the mama <laughs> looks to be straight. <laughs> Is that, uh, child, the end of a ribbon. is that child drinking some sort of vinegar cider or something? <laughs> Arizona something. It's got Chinese characters No, it's on. Arizona um, tea. It's the um, it? iced tea. Oh, nice. nice. So, oh. Apparently, it is very nice, apparently. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. That it's, is it Cinderella? Is the Cinderella thing going on here with the... Peter, have, Peter, I, Peter, I Peter, 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 Peter. Let it go... Let it go. Uh, let it go. This <laughs> image is pretty good. Let it go. Let it go. Because okay. when we finish, I can have poured. <laughs> Come on, that was good. That was great. Here, here we have another narrative image with oh, Steve. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Um. Oh, I love it. That's an awesome image. The sign's a bit, you know, get the damn like... sign out of the way, but that is awesome. If that sign wasn't there, that'd be... Oh, I like it. Very Slightly cool. move the car up to cover the, the sign. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Slightly different angles, so you yeah you get the sign out of the way. But, yeah, that's cool. I like it. Great image. Telling a good story. Yeah. And here we have uh, a narrative by Susan. Um, obviously, a again, a very personal image for her. Yes, very. Telling the story of her past mother. Wow. There's, there's not a whole lot you can really say to an image like this. It, it just it tells the story so well. Um, it's very personal. It, it's well executed, very well executed. The leading lines kind of... Yeah, I, I agree. It is well executed. It, and you're right. There isn't much you can say about it. I mean, it, it goes to explain a little bit about a person if you know slightly more about them and then you you know, like you're following them on Flickr or et cetera, et cetera, and you sort of get start to get a feel for that, that sort of person and you see stuff like this, I guess it, you know, it can give you more of a, a kind of overview of of what they're going through or something like that. But yeah. as, a, as a single image to an outsider, it might be, 
I don't know. You know, it could be, could kind of be anything, but I like it. I like the actual image. Here we have Water by Die. Oh. Um. Lost for words there, Simon? You, you, you may speak freely. <laughs> well, I, I just... <laughs> I was just still singing Let It Go, Let It Go in my... <laughs> <laughs> yes, a, a very, very different image to narrative. <laughs> Next. That's a, that's a strong image. It's a very strong image. But at the same time, think about it. I mean, attractive woman pouring water on herself. Am I saying it's a strong image because of that? Uh, it's it's reasonably well executed. The lighting is nice and even. The water is caught out. The highlights of the water are caught out. Uh, I think that answers the question about her hair colour. Yeah. Where's the red hair gone? Blue and hair. I got to it. Oh, no, no. It's white balance. Is it gold or is it blue? <laughs> <laughs> God, let's not go there. Yeah. Uh, water with Marcella. Oh, that's cool. I find yeah. that, that bit up the top. Top a bit distracting. I may maybe I would have cropped that out. This bit here, yeah. Nice, nice, but, um, nice strong colours. I don't know what yeah, it is. Is it a daisy or daisy or nasturtium? Mm. It's a flower. I'm going to say it's a flower. Kev, Kev, the tea experts calling it a nasturtium. Okay, uh, I was happy to go with you with daisy. It was nasturtium is edible. Yeah, well, second, I'll... second last image, water by Kerry. Nice. It's um, always cool to capture a, a waterfall, slowing your, your shutter speed right down. Do you have ND filtering required? Potentially. I was going to say I probably would have let, let it breathe a little bit more up the top of the, the image, but then it, you would have introduced a lot more light, it looks like. Yeah. So See, maybe, if, maybe. if anything, I possibly would have cropped it a bit tighter just to lose that Yeah, get that bit bright of bit out of it. Yeah. Uh, very cool image. Um, well, water's usually pretty cool. Yeah, unless you're in a spot. Unless it's bowling. That was my dad joke, Carter. <laughs> unless you're in a, and... who, who said unless you're in a spa? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, dude. I like that one. That's nice. Yeah, so our, our final image for you to look at from our participants is Marty with water. Very cool. Hmm. I like uh, it. I, I like taking photos like that. Nice reflection. I took a photo like that just today, actually. Yeah, I think it's a, a very important <laughs> lesson in itself to just uh, look just around. Just and look everywhere. Walk down the street. And everywhere. Actually look up for a change. When I was, yeah. I was kneeling out the front of a shop trying to take a photo of a guy walking past this puddle in the middle of the footpath and, jeez, he was looking at me weird. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of a photo I saw of you just yesterday of people mm. looking at you very weird. Oh, in the front window of the cafe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, um, now, yeah. so many people stopped and were looking in and like coming in and people came in to buy the stuff I was photographing it was kind of funny <laughs> anyway. can you wait till I'm finished yeah but yeah very cool reflection nice and contrasty again yeah uh, it's really cool so um, that's our group of images from all of our participants we, we have four from, from Kevin and myself if you'd like <laughs> to discuss them we, you can tear them apart all you wish um, no, not, I mean, you know, and this is the thing, um, I was talking to, um, I'm going to name drop. Yes. I was talking to Deanne Fitzmaurice, who is a Pulitzer Prize winning photojournalist, and she's also one of the co-founders of Think Tank. Mm -hmm. Um, and she has been invited to judge many photo competitions. Um, and I was speaking to, when I was over there last time we tried to record this, I spoke to her and I spent some time with Daniel Belcher as well, who is one of the judges on, um, World Photo, World Press Photo. And they, I was running my theory past them that if they got up on a certain day and the coffee had run out and their bag had been left on a flight and gone somewhere and they were in a crap mood and they had to go into some venue to judge these images. But then the next day, the coffee was beautiful and their bag had turned up and everything was going smoothly. I mean, their mindset changes how they look at the images the weather changes how you look at the images. And I, I know some people are going to say, well, no, an image is still a strong image, but they're also differently personal to the people that take them, the people that are in them, the people that are judging them if they're being judged or whatever. Yeah. So it's kind of it's interesting. And I look at, um, I look at all images with a, a reasonably open mind these days, like in terms of 
you know, you're saying, well, you can rip it apart, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's technical aspects to it that you could say, well, X, Y, Z, like in this image that's still on our screen, that, that bit of concrete or whatever it is sticking up in the puddle down the bottom, I probably would have cropped out because it's distracting and it's a little bit hot just outside on the right-hand side and I might have pulled the highlights back a bit. But it's a, it's a cool image overall, so, you know... I don't know. Who am I to say, well, you should have done this, should have done that. Yeah. Do you like the image? Mm, yes. yes. Well, but at the same same time, I suppose there's, you know, there's got to be room for people to harshly critique work because that's what our industry relies on, being harshly critical of each other. <laughs> it, it is very interesting that you say that because that's one of the things that has been mentioned before in the past about right. um, the project and the critique forums and that that we have yeah. in that, um, you know, people wanting criticism of their photos. Is it justified to want your photo torn apart? Mm. And it, it's an interesting little thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm of the opinion of, like, I, I come from um, a creative writing background where I've done, you know, mm-hmm. 10 years of university study and just so used to having work torn apart and yeah. critiqued down to the, to the word choice, mm. to the, the placement of a, Wow. semicolon or a comma or whatever so doing that with photographs is like what i like but yeah, it's yeah. not for everyone no sure yeah and some people handle it well and some people not so much yeah definitely yeah definitely so if i've offended anyone tonight i apologize and you don't know where i live so suck it <laughs> <laughs> uh dear. so um do, do you want to have a look at kevin's and my photo or yeah, would yeah. you like in fact you know what i might eat a picnic while i critique yours sure no, I've, I've seen this one and this one's a bit interesting for me to talk about and so when i saw that image i was just like oh man hard hitting definitely love the lighting Um, i love the introduction of the bricks and i think they lit really well and the shadow's great you know this this it's on many many levels it's it's a pretty much a perfect image technically Mm. emotionally narratively it's 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 right right on point Mm. it is and you can eat snickers to it as well yeah, oh. um, <laughs> picnic. The picnic. <laughs> this this was week two, which was rule of thirds, if I recall. Right. Yes, it was. Um, so again, Kevin's eyes smack on the. Kevin, I was you. Yeah. So, um, nice. Nice. It's nice. Hmm. Um, next, we have Kevin's paper image, which we thought we'd get a a bit more of a, a critical discussion on. I I like the technical <laughs> aspect of this image. And I know what it was, and I know who it stands for, and, you know, again, I guess it's, I mean, it's not personal to me, but it's personal to me, because, yeah. you know, if I if I forget all I know, and I look at it from an outsider standpoint, it's a, a reasonably strong image, the technical aspect's pretty good. Um, I think that the, the bit down the middle, the rippy, the rippy bit, yep. needed to be accentuated a little bit more to to show people exactly what was going on. Um, I knew what was going on, obviously, and so did everyone else here. <laughs> Kevin obviously knew what was going on, although my, half the time I do have to question that. Yes. Uh, and, Pete, you were probably either asleep from being up until 5 o'clock the night before. Uh, I knew what was going on between the hours of midnight and 5, yes. <laughs> but that, that would be my only critique, that I think the rip needed to be a bit stronger. Possibly a little bit neater there. I don't know if you can see where my mouse goes through. A bit neater. I think, neater. It needed, I think it needed to be ultimately rougher. Well, yeah, it, one or the other, because it's it's like this. The right hand side's very neat, but this side it kind of like rips in there, and then it's like it's on, on. That's foil, bit. isn't it, Kev? So yes, foil, it is. paper, yeah. foil, foil, foil on the bottom and paper on top. But um, technically, I I really like what you've done. Yeah, it's very cool with the lighting. Too. Mm. Thanks. Now we have Peter with contrast. Nice. I, I'm, I'm going to say I don't like this image. I like, um, I like the focus on the hands, but I don't like the image because I don't know what you're holding, and I think the focus should have been more forward. Yep. But I do like the lighting quite a bit. Yeah. For, for me, the thing that I really don't like about this image is, yes, you can't see the photographs, um, but also the hands. Oh, um, the photographs, okay. Yeah, yep. it's... Um, the photographs that my dad had in his wallet for ah, fantastic. 
30, 40 years. The, I've, I've souvenired Dad's wallet, and they still live in his wallet. Can I ask what they were of? Um, one is of me and my two brothers, mm-hmm. and the other one is of him and my mother back in 1976. Ah, man, that's awesome. So, um, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, I, I kind of wish that I'd shown the photos a bit more, but also just... My, my cropping, my composition. It's something that I picked on people before and then I went and did the exact same thing where uh, I cut my I fingers ca- off. You cut I, your fingers, yeah. I kind of like it. I kind of yeah? like it, yeah. Um, like I was saying to you well earlier, um, I'm going through this phase where I'll crop people into halfway down their heads or mm-hmm. halfway up an arm or something random like that. Everyone I would've... knows what the top of a head looks like. Yeah, and people know what fingers look like, and that's not the focus of the image anyway. I think the focus point and the the angle of the images maybe could have been slightly, or the actually the angle of the camera, the the angle of the images is nice and fine, but maybe a slightly higher camera point looking down a little bit. Um, yeah. To the left, to our screen left, um, I would have maybe um, burnt those um, bits that are showing up there. Down there, yeah, yep. just to keep the image nice and clean because it's a nice, nice clean. nice clean image, nice, mm. nice, um, grainy, artifacty, noisy fall off on your arms. Really nice. I just would have loved to see a bit more of the photos. And um, uh, and speaking of really obtuse watermarks, I was <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> Feel free, like I'm I'm you know I'm fully aware that I. Well, I, normally they're a lot paler. Like I don't know why they're so bright, but I normally have an opacity about forty percent. But, but for some reason, I've upped it like seventy-five ish. Don't feel picked on, but why have you got a watermark on this image? Um, no real reason. It's it's not to protect the image by any means, because I mean, this image obviously it'd be really really easy just to get yeah, a course. black paintbrush and wipe it out. It's more just you know my name with my website, which is severely out of date. There's yeah, no other real the, reason for it. At the same time, we've we've just agreed, or well, <laughs> I've agreed with myself <laughs> <laughs> that this image, whilst good, could be a lot stronger if the the content of the image, the photo, the content, the photographs that you're holding, yep. um, was displayed, so people could get a feel for what what was actually going on, rather than just a set of random hands holding a set of random things that. The only reason I know what they are is because you just told me. Yeah. And so you don't want to... Associate but, myself with a less than great image. Well, yeah, there's that. Um, but at the same time, I think we can be, we can be reasonably harsh on ourselves when we, when we decide that we're not going to associate ourselves with a great image. It's like, um, to give you a commercial um, view of that at the moment, the TAB client that I've got, I don't do any of my retouching. I send them or I give them the images at the end of the day in raw format. And they don't associate my name with it, and I don't have to spend a day editing, and everyone's happy. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I just like a personal project, sticking a big old watermark on there. I get it if it's a you know an image of commercial value. Yeah. Um, could I see this image being used in a commercial? Pro- you know, I maybe I guess maybe, but I don't know. I just think it wrecks stuff. Yeah. That's my only my personal opinion though. No, it's a very reasonable point, um, and I, I don't really know why I do it. I've just always done it. Just something you do. Yeah, yeah. Just habit. Yeah, sure. From self promotion of sorts, I guess. Yeah, sure. But a bad habit. Potentially a bad habit. It's a good argument to have another day. You could talk about it for an hour, I'd say. I think so. My final image is uh, week twelve, which was narrative. Oh wow! <laughs> that is wicked, mate. <laughs> oh, look at the the lines in his face. That's a hard life, right there. Yeah. Jeez, who's this bloke? This is uh, my next door neighbour, Bob. He's um, sat for oh. me a couple of times, actually. So. Oh, that's awesome. I would have liked it if you'd shot him slightly more straight onto that desk in the background, so it wasn't often wonky Mm -hmm. but it doesn't really matter the total hero of the image is the um bob's hand and his face the light's beautiful just shows just enough detail in the background you've pushed it a bit though that light in the background haven't you yeah just a little bit it's um geez it's nice i like it Mm, What what do you think of that image kev 
he he jumps out. Roy jumps out straight from the image. It does, doesn't it? Did like just use... pose the hand. He's got a beer stubby in one hand, Siggy in the other hand, and he knows his place in life. He knows what, he this is his home. Yeah, he certainly does. You know, the yeah. only like from a technical point of view, you've how have you lit it? I mean, obviously you've lit it off off one side, but what what do you use? Uh, there was a. I think it was a LumaPro LP180 to oh, yeah. the left, slightly behind, into a... I'm pretty sure it was a silver reflective umbrella. Yeah. It would have been nice to bring out a tiny bit more of, like, his eye and maybe slightly more across his fingers than the cigarette. Yep. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah. Um, but not too much of his eye. You know how people grab eyes these days and they treat the crap out of them and they just look yeah. weird? Yeah. Say no more. So there's one final job left, which is the very tough job for you to award someone the prize of a Think Tank photo turnstile camera bag. Fantastic. Well, uh, I think tonight I am going to base it on which photo captured my imagination the most right off the bat when I first saw it. And that photo for me tonight was Marcella Enns. Enns? Enns. Uh, the, uh, her... Um, movement and motion image which i thought was um horrifying well not horrifying but quite um it it made me think quite a lot it's it's very much a, a emotion invoking image it really is yeah and yeah it, it is it is the winner that's my winner for the evening Marcella. the winner for the evening thank you very much so it's a very um, a visceral image. Very much, and, yeah. And try saying that with one tooth missing. <laughs> <laughs> visceral. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Um, yeah, thank you for, um, for including us. Oh, and thank you to Think Tank and to yourself, of course, for giving up your evening. But, um, yeah, big thank to Think Tank Photo for uh, helping us out. Can we get Kev to say big, that quickly? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big thank to Think Tank Photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear fantastic awesome no, you're welcome yeah. let's do it again so, good night so long and thanks for all the fish <laughs>